I guess it's Sniff, and we are doing some Dirty Bomb with the Back to Basics flight shirt. You might notice that my uh, Dirty Bomb ha looks a little bit potato-y. That is because I'm using the potato config, and uh, people with potatoes for computers can play Dirty Bomb. Good stuff, uh, and it's kind of great. I get 300 frames, but uh, you know, enough of that. This is Fletcher Back to Basics. Basically amazing, uh, an awesome flanker, and uh, geez, just I, my favorite character is Sticky Bombs, three of them, and they are your primary weapons, along with your Empire Nine being the secondary. So, uh, yeah, don't be fooled. Might be discouraged because the Arnold isn't really the best shotgun, and some people really, really, really don't like shotguns. Well, that's fine. You have sticky bombs and you have a freaking SMG, so you'll be doing just fine. As well as, I might add, and this is really important to add, the repair kit. Oof. Which means I can do this and get loads of points. As well as repair and uh, set C4 off elsewhere. C4 on the main objective gives you a thousand points per C4 exploded. Um, the side C4 is giving, I believe, 500? Not entirely sure. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so Sticky Bombs doing 100 damage means that you don't always have to stick the light classes to be able to kill them in one shot, but it's still really fun to try and stick them because you will get good enough eventually that you will just start sticking things like crazy, and uh, that's really fun. Oh, that's going to explode. Okay, so let's go ahead, go back in here, and uh, take care of people. Ouch. 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 The rice. And yeah, about 500. That's a, a, about right. Maybe 400. Let's see. I have no idea why it makes those numbers like that. But anyways, now that we have the side objectives up, let's make people sad. Um, gonna be trying to use the Arnold a little bit just for chip damage. Around the corners especially. Good stuff. Get high health characters down so that you are able to finish them off with the Arnold or with the Empire Nine. Sticky bombs are really important to hit as well because there's nothing worse than missing and taking out three seconds or four seconds of your combat time to just being shot at. You didn't even do a single point of damage to them. And, uh, boing, boing. Oh, no. Oh. Here we go. Good stuff. I know. Ah. Uh, let's go ahead and play that main objective. Our team looks like it needs a little bit of help with that. And, uh, oh, yes, we have it. Good. They have got shops set up there. And, uh, hopefully they won't be killing themselves too much. Um. Go ahead and mm, looks like they got it. Plant another. Fire in drop hole. All right, take care of two people. And uh, is that really game? All right, we'll have to go into another match. Oh my God, that second name. Mission failed. Bloody rubbish, you lot are. All right, and we are on some bridge, repairing. Hopefully, uh, that blowtorch giving you so many points, it is really, really good. And we do have a friendly Fletcher alongside us. Wow, that was really stupid. Any awesome. Save for my own stupidity. Thanks, medic. We'll go ahead and take a step back. Maybe go a little bit slower. Not charge head in. You do only have 110 health, so I mean, like, really, come on. Can't be getting too silly. Come on. Ah. Good stuff, though. Another Fletcher. Looking out. Ah, oh, well. 
Not a bad push. Dual Fletchers are a force to be reckoned with. Six Sticky Bombs. I'd love to see a team full of like 8v8 Fletchers. Ah, so many Sticky Bombs just constantly would be mortifying. Kind of why I want to see it. But uh, more on topic. I guess we'll be covering running away. The Fletcher specialty. Don't ever, 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 ever. Alright, listen to me. Ever, ever chase a Fletcher. You don't do that. That is what you want to do as a Fletcher is get people to chase you. When people are chasing you, they go in straight lines. And uh, oftentimes, really, really, really predictably. And that means that you can throw sticky bombs on people the easiest by running away. Defense and uh, flank is his game. See? What I tell you. What I tell you. Don't chase a Fletcher. <laughs> Don't do it! And all of those people dead. See? You're going to chase a Fletcher? You're going to die. You're going to have a sticky bomb stuck to you. You saw it. And disappear. Twice! You just... Anyways. That is something that sucks, too. I was well, hoping I wasn't going to show it, but st sticky bombs just disappear sometimes. The devs say they're looking into it and that it's really high priority because... Dude, like seriously, I was on a roll, and that sucked. Anyways, though, going to be in this hallway, making people sad, getting some shots on the rhino. I think I'm just going to get out of here. Um, do I have health? There is a health pack right here. Ooh. Let's go ahead and flank around some more. Get knocked down. Not too bad. Not a bad push. Definitely pushing all that up there. Fletcher Sticky Bombs have been increased uh, a little bit, by the way, in their effectiveness on buildings. Either that or I thought that they sucked really bad and turns out that they don't. Um, I always thought that it was pretty terrible. Like, for instance, uh, you're not going to win any medals, but... Oh, you might. I just took out about half, uh, not half, but about a fourth of that uh, generator. Once that's destroyed, by the way, uh, that's it. That generator is down. We're back up to two sticky bombs right here. Let's go and continue to take angry shots at people. I'm not really trying to hit anything, but you know. Oh no, I have died for whatever shall I do with that sticky bomb right there. Probably detonate it. Yes, if you die and uh that's it you can detonate it after you get revived unless you've thrown it on a person this used to be the case and used to be really funny to do um you used to be able to set a sticky bomb on a person die and uh once you were revived that meant you could kill them they changed that for some reason <laughs> uh but yeah, so definitely nowhere near as effective as Nader. People are asking me why you would use uh, Nader over Fletcher, and that's one of the reasons. Five of her nades takes out about half of that health, so you can get some really, uh, really good damage points with Nader. No! 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 Body block! Why? Ah, uh, I was going to try and snag that kill and uh, show that the e that the C4 just disappears. When you destroy it, it just it, it's gone. So, that's weird. Anyways, we're still pushing it. Notice how I'm not actually on the objective or doing anything. This is, uh... This is what I love about Fletcher. No. Is, uh... You can play the objective, or you don't necessarily have to. With your sticky bombs, you are combat effective enough to uh, mess people up, and uh, as long as you take it relatively slow and not jump into mines like that, you can uh, do a really good job in keeping your team uh, free of people. And, oh my gosh, I revived on the animation. That's fine. I needed ammo anyways. We'll go ahead and play with the objective a little bit. Kind of suppress them. 
How did that sound? We'll go steal their drugs. Don't chase me, nope. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blow you up with the mine. We have the objective. <laughs> Anyways, we'll flank around here. No one ever goes around here. I don't know why, there's ammo over there too. People just don't go there. It's a really nice place. People should go there more. And uh, yeah, so looks like maybe sort of kind of stealing their drugs. <gasps> no, the drugs have already been stolen. All right, we're going to be super sneaky, and if they are able to deliver them, we will be stealing the drugs right again. Oh my gosh, it's Fletcher. We have the objective. Good stuff. All right, I got you. Hey, nerd, I got you. I got your back. You steal the drugs. Next thing you. Gonna be doing some teamwork plays. What are we stuck on them? Go, go, go. Tricked you. And yes, looks like we got it. Everything fine, happy, dandy. That is it for Back to Basics Fletcher. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit of something. If uh, I didn't say something that you guys really like, go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what I can say for any future videos because I do plan to make more videos than just, you know, a, a basics video. So that's it for me. All right, and we are on chapel this time. I figured uh, a little bit... Too short of a video, I have more things that I want to talk about, namely Q versus Q versus E. Why use one, why use the other? Uh, up until oh gosh, I don't know how long ago. Maybe a couple of months ago, I almost exclusively used Q, which is the quick throw mechanism, as opposed to switching using four so that you can aim a little bit better. Both have their advantages. Uh, pressing Q and doing it that way is certainly uh, more EV difficult and uh, a lot less accurate. I don't mean more difficult as in more rewarding if you get killed at the difficulty. It's, it's just more difficult. So, pretty much everything you can do with Q, you can do with changing the four. It just requires a little bit more finger work, but otherwise is a, is a good idea. I'm just gonna repair this for a little- ah! <laughs> uh, But yes, so why would you want to use Q? Let's say for instance someone's running from you. EV repaired. Now you escort just to chuck the it with Q. You don't need to waste any time doing that and then you just, you just throw it. And in those a few milliseconds, that's when it's most important. And sometimes, you know, you even did it one stick. Certainly not a- not a lot of difference, but a lot of people like to use Q since it's right there, but realistically you should be pressing uh, four. There you go for that. Ah! That laser. <laughs> it looks like it's from Tron. Oh, man. Anyways. We'll go ahead, move it on in. I thought there was a guy there. I guess not. Who's here? Strike is that? I don't know. Move around a bit. And yes. Keep, keep chasing me. Ah, uh, machine gun. Oh uh, well. Objective. You got it. And uh, maybe we'll stay alive. Nope, not staying alive. was an interesting placement, Mr. Sniper. Kanye East. Alright. So, now that we're super attacking people, you have to be a little careful. That he just disappears. Well, a little bit sort of careful. Uh, you know, you only have 110 health, and they are backed into a corner, which means it is going to be kind of difficult for you to kill them. I don't know where that was, but it had exploded. Let's go ahead, move with the group. Just because you can flank, which means that you're away from the group a lot, doesn't mean that you should stay away from the group. That is personally the biggest problem that I have with Fletcher, is once I'm away from the group, I'm so used to it, it uh... It's actually 
actually bad a lot of the times to just be away from the group. And, uh, yeah, so don't, don't get too comfortable being alone all the time. I'm going to get stuck and maybe die. You can't stick sticky bombs to the uh, objective, though. Oh, Tron Laser! Just expect a face to come out of that. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Kanye East, I would help you, but you're a sniper. Don't pick me Objective returned. Not a pleasure. I have more important things to be doing. Come on, let me back. Uh, so, I mean, like, no one we have wouldn't the objective. be too big of a problem for me to be chasing, but, damn it, I'm low health. That objective. Wow, we're sucking. Alright. Yeah, this is kind of where Fletcher's efficiency runs out. When you can't get people to chase you, when you get people to defend against you. Your assault, uh, attackness... Is, is pretty decent so long as you can get behind people or get people to chase you. Now that they're in a defensive position, I have to chase at them either with a really high rate of fire, uh, SMG, or sticky bombs that uh, don't really have that big of a range. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the sticky healer. bomb range is really nice, but uh, it's not that great. It's not like a fragger where I can just kind of chuck it near you and you'll die. Um, I definitely have to hit it pretty well. And don't get me started on the Arnold. How did that get me? You know, uh, us having, what is that, like three snipers probably isn't helping either, but that's besides the point. I was going to say if these three people were Fletcher, maybe we'd you know, have a better time, Deliver but then I realized it, objective. we kind of would. Alright, Mr. Medic. Paradise, you're going to be helping me so much now that I picked you up. I just, I have the feeling. Alright, and it looks like Phantom over there is doing a thing. I forgot that I can't... Uh, I cannot uh, reload and run away at the same time. Fletcher does have that perk available to him. It is a uh, double time? Yeah, that's the one. And it is awesome for him, but fortunately, um, I am doing back to basics, so we don't really have that. That would probably be the best uh, loadout, in my opinion, any card with uh, double time. I picked the objective up. I'm going to go knife this phantom. I feel like that's probably the best use of my time right now. Oh, uh, no. Airstrikes being invisible suck. That, that's probably the worst thing about Potato Pound Big. And it looks like we might lose this. If I had joined earlier, probably could have had better points on this map, but the last point in Chapel is really hard to push, especially as Fletcher. Um, Deliver the objective. You really need your team to be there and that. You know, last point, when you're actually there with the objective, it does gain more efficiency, or uh, efficiency, effectiveness, uh, since you have people trying to get you to, uh, not deliver the objective, but until that point, it's like hitting a brick wall, and uh, yeah, you just have to be careful sometimes of how you're playing him. Mission so failed. I'm going to call oh, the well. Fletcher video off there. This is Schniff. Where are you?